Hello everybody, welcome to the first BBSL game of week four. We've got Seabros with his Dark Elves up against Crystal Hunter with his Nobs, the most OP team in Blood Bowl. He's won the toss, chosen a kick. And in the booth with me is Eliod. Hello, Eliod. Hey up me duck. Hey up me duck. Whoa. What a great, what a great intro from the man from Sheffield. Is that a common Sheffield greeting? Uh, I guess maybe I heard it somewhere once. I don't know. <laughs> may, may or may not be. I'm not really very, you know, generalish or anything. <laughs> You're sure? I don't know. Brilliant. Hundred <laughs> percent blade, Elion. <laughs> well, chat. What is? Where are you from in the world? And what's your favourite regional greeting? Oh, that's an amazing question. Thank you so much, Elion. Don't forget to leave it in the comments. Oh, hey. <laughs> Also, if you got the 100% Blade reference, don't forget oh. to write down your favourite actor in the comments as well. <laughs> so there you go. P you should know that of all people, Elliot. He's your he's your you local know. he's your local legend, isn't he? What, Sean Bean? Yep. <laughs> uh, what was the wait? What, what was the reference? What was it again? He's got a 100% Blade tattoo, hasn't he? Oh, has he? Oh! Yeah. And the Lord of the Rings one, didn't he, from the... Uh, yeah, game, yeah. The 100% see... Blade was, is more famous, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> i do. So, yeah, what do you think of these stacks? What do you think of these stacks? Um, oh, yeah. Uh, don't like the shorthands blocker, really. Shorthands is a bit shit, isn't it? Just pick the ball up, idiot. <laughs> yeah, just roll good. He does only have two rerolls, doesn't he? That's the problem. So I guess it's like a leader reroll, or um, or this stacking. The good thing with it being like low tier is that the one point in stacks does give you two stacks, and then so like stacking the blitzers kind of makes sense. Like I, I don't hate it. It's not how I built mine. I built mine with a guard thrower and a leader thrower, and then just dodge on the two blitzers. But I don't. Hate this. Buffalo, 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 <laughs> buffalo, buffalo, buffalo. Yes. Sorry. Agree. Yes. That's I. That's the first person I know from Buffalo. Hello, Bowbucky. <laughs> you should have told me you from Buffalo already. Then I could have said Buffalo, 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 buffalo every time I saw you. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> now we know. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. <laughs> it's that. Oh, that. For buffalo too. Oh my god! This is so exciting. <laughs> I can say it again. <laughs> <I'm trying. laughs> it's because it's a grammatically correct sentence, a kind sir. Because buffalo means like to bully. And obviously buffalo's a place, and then buffalo's are a thing. So it's like buffalo, 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 buffalo. <laughs> Thank you for saying it again, Jimmy. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's a real <laughs> sentence. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> there you go. Baron Bucky's on it. On it like a car bonnet. Oh, oh my god, he went for the stab on the ogre. How class is that? Oh my, what? What the? Who is this? <laughs> See, oh, fucking Seabors. What a fucking meme lord. For fuck's sake, it goes with Seabors. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Do you know what's interesting? Shall I tell you something about interesting about the Euroball rules? Uh -huh. They allow the 30k inducement, which is the best 30k inducement, by the way, um, of a team mascot. Which on a five plus in each half allows you to use a reroll. Um, now, obviously, that's not that good for thirty TV. But when you compare it to inducement to like an assistant coach costing twenty, it's very good, isn't it? Compared to like so, compared to that. So what can you, can you 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 just use it once, one attempt, and then it's gone. Up the half. Both both halves, both halves. You get. Yeah, but it's not like you can keep attempting until it's no, gone. No, 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 it, no. You just use it one, just attempt once. Yeah. Yeah, no, once still, per still, half. Yeah, pretty good though. Yeah. Yeah, not not Third terrible at all, right? Not terrible yeah. at all. There's a decent... Ch exactly, yes. But here's the thing. Orcs end up with 30k left over. 
So they buy three assistant coaches, or instead of a lineman, they get two goblins. And I was thinking, well, maybe the uh, maybe maybe the uh, mascot's just better, right? And also the same thing here, the same problem you have here with the uh, dark elves, right? They have oh my god, he just did a one do blitz. Uh, Not what I'd have done. No. Uh, who can say if it's good or bad? Can you share your screen, please? I can, yes, yeah, sorry. So, yeah, so what happens with the Dark Elves is they end up with, like, 30k left over, right? So what you could do is, um, if you have an apple, you have 30k left over. So you can... Yep. Some people were having two apples... Uh, sorry, two assassins. Um, Seabros has gone with an assassin and assistant coach. But I wondered, you know, like, if, if with Dark Elves, you could just have, like, four dodge blitzers... Right, and then a block and a wrestle, and then a mascot. I, and I don't think anybody took that build, but to me that seems maybe the best build, right? Interesting. Yeah. Because I'm not really sold on like I'm not really sold on runners or assassins, you know. <laughs> and then if you skill them, then it means you're not skilling a blitzer. So I'd either go three blitzers and three rerolls, or I'd go with. Um, with a mascot and uh, only six, you know, six the six best positions. Yep. Well, yep. Maud, ready? You can't, uh, you can't randor your skills in a uh, in a res environment <laughs> because, I mean, the main reason being everybody would cheat. At least, at least, Games Workshop know that this is a bit of a bad start for uh, Sea Bros, isn't it? Here we've got a, uh, got three hits on the LOS. The LOS can be demolished here. I mean, this is all jokes aside. Where the knobs come into the element, right? I think for me against the elves, they're better, a lot better against the elves than the bash beams. Yeah, and I mean they got a solid defense as well, which let them dominate the LOS from the start, oh. which does help. Not sure about assisting with this guy though, who can now get surfed. I guess you just protect it with this. Is that a thrower? Yeah, it's a lineman. Oh, he's got fen, so he can't oh. get surfed. Oh. Irata, Irata. It, 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 it's a good job, Dimmy wasn't here. Holy shit! Disregard, disregard. Okay, I'll put the things on. Some people have been asking about you know the circles. <laughs> no. <laughs> The problem, the problem with the circles is um, they're disgusting. They're disgusting, yeah. So I like to just have them on so people can work out themselves, right? They, they, they can follow. Like the blitzers are easy. They're, they're they're stacked up guys. The the blockers, bodyguards are easy because they're the guarders. Ogre's easy because it's an ogre. The uh, throwers are the guys without helmets, so actually it's quite easy. Oh. Two re rolls with one in hand, you have to let it go, sure. Yeah, you have to. You don't want to, but you have to. Zebra straight away with the emote oh, game. <laughs> the push up emote is pretty good, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a great emote. Some would say it's the best emote. And there's no better emote in Blood Bowl right now than Zebra's. <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> that is absolutely. Correct. Correct. The linemen do seem to have a lot of armor on for AV. It's almost like there was a disconnect between them people making the miniatures, um, who like and the fluff of it being that they're the most rich Blood Bowl team, and then for some reason they have linemen that they don't bother giving armor to, uh, despite them looking well armored. You know, who could say? Seaboard is to emoting what Keith is to jumping. <laughs> if we combine them, we'd get burpees. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah, the Chaos Warrior block him up's the best, for sure. I mean, the best one in, in this is, uh, is the, um, is, of course, the assassin animation, where they do a stab animation and they just kick somebody. Uh, uh. <laughs> Look, Jimmy, have you never seen James Bond? They have <laughs> knives in their feet, in their boots. Ah, yes. I mean, also in their hands in this case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they they got to be all sneaky. Like, that's the... that Yeah, look at that big fucking dagger. Like, that's just for show, right? Like, you know, they're assassins. They're going to be all sneaky, right? Like, 
<laughs> can't kill someone with a massive fucking sword if you're an assassin. <laughs> Gotta kick him. Kick him with the, uh, the dagger. Yeah. Different shed. I mean, that's kind of true for all you again. The dagger's buggy. <laughs> um, yes, yes, it's just, yeah, it's all like. What? What, what is it? What's the word? Um, Ecoy octopus. Yep, that's one. It's not just distraction, is it? It's there's isn't there another word? For like, you know, magicians. Uh, um, it's not distraction. Decoy. Or decoy, there's another word. Oh my god. Misdirection, thank you. Ah, it's misdirection. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. Misdirection. Um look at this. There's a lot of hits and an easy hit on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden, Sea Rose is in big, big trouble. Big trouble. Nerdgant? Nerdgant, yeah. Hello, Nerdgant. <laughs> oh my god, this is a lot of trouble, isn't it? The problem is, like, Chunt has got so many hits, he actually can't hit the ball as well, can he, easily? <laughs> There's just literally so many hits to take, it just uses up everybody hitting people, probably. He could free this thrower. Yeah, and, and the then thrower, could, yeah. Or he could just free the ogre, right? He could just free the ogre. Yeah. But you really want to go with the tackle guy, though, really, don't you, is the thing. Mm. Oh, that guy stood up. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I was like, it's easy to free him. To free him. <laughs> that guy was already standing. Fuck me. Yeah. I mean, he could dodge, right? He's got dodge. Oh. Wait, what? What? What the heck, Jacob? <laughs> wow. Conceded in tabletop. After being 2 0 up. <laughs> <laughs> Got pitch cleared, I assume? Maybe just cheating of some kind. Of something. Something uh, actual humanity involved, I would imagine. Oh, well, yeah. Maybe I'm going to you get easy this weekend. And I'm terrified of humanity. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, do you think he'll chain? Do you think he'll chain his wrestler and then go with the wrestler? One, two, three, four, five, six. G F I G. It's only a one D though. Yeah. The fact that he's put this guy in makes me think he's going to chain him to there. But then that. The thing is, he likes doing chains just for the hell of it. Doesn't he, he does, yeah. Probably. <laughs> he does. Is there some planets that you get to see? Is there some what? Planets. I didn't you? It was you go DC. You went to last year, right? And you had that video with the planets. Yes, yeah, there are planets there. Yeah, um, I don't know if it's the same location this year or if they changed oh. it. I mean, they changed the time. That was York, though, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't know if they changed the location. Oh. It's still in York this year, isn't it? But I don't know if they yeah, changed yeah. the location in York or just the time. It's one or two. Ah, oh, so Chirgan realised he'd been cheating. He was the one. He oh. was the one cheating. So oh, conce yeah. shame Demon. conceded. Wow. What, he's going for the ogre. Not the ogre hit though. Just the ogre base. So is the blitzer coming all the way around? Or is he just not putting the ball? He could dodge sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like seventy five percent surf is all right, no, isn't it? No, especially no. versus yeah, yeah, yeah. especially versus elves. Ah, oh, lame. Lame. He would have made the dodge look. <laughs> oh wow! There we go. Then. Wow, very, very, very passive by Chunder standards, isn't it? Yeah, especially with the ogre coming in here instead of here, right? At least making him two plus a, out this way, right? Yeah. So is this guy coming around the back? Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. GFI. Maybe this guy's coming all the way around the back rather than holding the sideline. Yeah. But still, even more reason to have put the ogre there and not allow it. Now everything yeah. two plus us away. It's like yeah. no point doing this at all. <laughs> now I mean, that is not a slight exaggeration, but like, do you know what I mean? He's got he's got these two with dodge. Yeah. He's got this one with dodge. He's got this one with dodge. Most things can just two plus away now easily, whereas it's really weird to have not put the ogre there. There's no reason not to, right? One, two, three, nah. four, five. Yeah, really weird to not put the ogre there. I guess he was thinking like ogre on more players, but 
Yeah. You'd rather have the FIFA's Dodgers. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Lock that, lock that guy down. You do not want to give easy two plus Dodgers away. And obviously, that's the, that's the first thing that he uh. does. <laughs> Fend or fend. OP. OP, Elliot, it's OP. I was so hoping he died. <laughs> oh, the jump up block. Jump Ooh. up fails. I don't hate that. It's a little bit greedy, but yeah. it, it's pretty good, isn't it? Well, it works. Yeah, then I guess we can blitz the throw or something. Yeah, still got the blitz here. Yeah, I like that. I like it. Surely we're not be rolling it though. No, 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 no surely not. Think about it. Yeah, it's it's fair to think, isn't it? A lot of times oh, yeah, I've yeah. not thought of I, things well, and I thought, know. oh, I should have at least thought. Dangerous though. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking is dangerous. Spoken like a true Warhammer forty thousand enthusiast. <laughs> Uh 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 uh. <laughs> Nobs OP, yes or yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely what it should have been, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would have been great. Oh, standing this guy up, he's in danger, danger. I guess the problem, the thing is, if you stand him up and it takes like three players to surf him, which I guess Seabros thinks is going to give him enough of a. Enough of an advantage now. But also, Chunter might still go for it, but I can't, honestly, I would, I would have gone for the 4 plus dodge. So, I really like that. Because you're knobs, right? So, you need a bit of luck, don't you? Like, you need. A, you need <laughs> like, even though, you know, you're saying this is their, this is their niche against, like, elves and. Hey. You know, a bit better on defense with the the fend and the rest, uh, the rest of the stand firm. Like all those three, those all three of those skills do make them marginally more annoying to attack. But um, I still feel like you're behind and you've got to mm. get something going. So I would be very happy to have made that faultless dodge to serve. Yeah. <laughs> Banning the people who vote no. <laughs> Can't ban them all, Dimmy. Can't ban them all. Yeah. Yeah, you, li you literally can't ban me. <laughs> I've already... I already put my vote in for no. I'm sorry, Dimmy. I'm sorry, Dimmy. <laughs> yeah, I need the viewers. Don't ban people, Dimmy. <laughs> you can't ban people for thinking... Sorry, for knowing knobs on... Oh, no, people. you can ban people for thinking now. <laughs> oh yeah, true, 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 true. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> Not the wrong roots. Hmm. <laughs> He's managed to worm his way out of this, hasn't he? I think, Seabros. Like, this isn't yeah. great still, but it's a lot better than it was. Yeah. Block. He actually gets to use block on a player. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. No wins by a hair. It was close. <laughs> Did he really rallied the support for the knobs? <laughs> oh, double skulls. Rerolls it. Oof. Flip me. Yeah, this should be a good turn for Seabros now, I feel. He should get back into basically total control after this turn, I think. Yes, it was an odd spot for the Ogre, wasn't it? Because this is like a natural blitz and get everybody out on twos. And it was strange to not have the ogre like just slam in here and three guys or here or here. Slamming on three with guard, strength five. 
uh, instead of here, which is a square that they're not going to go to. So yeah, Odd, I guess, just wanted him, you know, further back in the play. But I would have thought here or here would have been better. Yeah. Or even down there. Like, even down there, right, here might have been the best square, eh? That might have been really good, that square. Very strange square, yeah. But then I guess the further ahead you obviously you don't want to get just left behind. Just two pluses people out here and leaves your ogre behind, so I guess he wanted the ogre for later in the drive. Yeah. Problem is, later in the drive might not be good enough, might it? I, I, funnily enough, yeah. given Chunter's, you know, philosophy on Blood Bowl, um... If anything, I'd be like, you know, I'd really be thinking I was on a clock to make something happen because elves can just fuck off, can't they, whenever they want, basically. <laughs> Roll some twos and they're off. I thought you were going to say you'd be on a clock because, and because of how Trundle plays, because your players are going to get banged out. And I was like, yeah, but I mean, it's, it's elves, isn't it? But I was like, oh yeah, it's knobs. <laughs> yeah, they are, they are going to get banged out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there is the danger they get banged out, but not not even that as much as just like... I feel like I mean we said it last game. You know, I feel like they're playing the playing passively isn't so good, and it's certainly not so good when you're when you're knobbed because you can just get tagged out and stuff, can't you? And all the elves can just two plus away. So yeah, yeah I, don't know. I mean you do have the stand firms, all right. That, what I what I do like and why I fancy the knobs more against the elves is that I feel like the stand firms do so much work against the elves, where they don't against the bash teams. You stand firm against the Bash team, you should get cast more. <laughs> you stand firm against the Elf and he kind of fucks them up more, I think. Yeah. More than not at all, certainly, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we've got, we've got Less to... likely they'll be able to get to the block team, so. Oh. Ooh. Oh, fine, I guess. Yeah. I mean that was pretty lucky because that was that was you know that would high likelihood to get removed wasn't it with armor seven. The thing is, um, uh, yeah, I feel like he was in a decent place where he was right because he can go forwards from there quite nicely right at some point. Yeah, I would have I would have left him down personally. But I guess I think uh, Seabro just wanted to punch that guy, didn't he? he? Wanted to punch the guard there. So one, two, three, four, and then this guy would have punched him. And then to be fair, him punching him, if he knocks him over, it saves another 2D, doesn't it? Because he's going to punch him here and then punch him there, so... Mm -hmm. There was a lot of punchiness to it. And maxing blocks and minning blocks is a lot of the game, isn't it? So... Was that angry typing then? Was it? Was it me? No, no, it was me. But I just I wondered oh. if people could tell it was angry typing. Oh, it wasn't actually angry typing. Everyone always says angry typing, but it's it's never angry typing. <laughs> and there we go. This extra hit that he was trying to save with that. 75% dodge leads to absolutely nothing. <laughs> Furious. Oh god, out of rerolls. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> wow. Well. Ooh. This isn't looking good for old chunts. There we go. Ooh, yeah. Instant fail from the out of rerolls. Oh dear. Yeah, he's got a few choices, hasn't he? I mean, everywhere is weak now. Oh, look at this. Oh, God. The oh, top. No, 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 no. 
Don't like that one. Don't like that one. Oh, oh, oh. oh bad luck. Bad luck. <laughs> so many options now, isn't there? What I quite like is, yeah, this jump up into into just getting a block. Oh, and he's got stand firm, so that doesn't work. You know, so I'm sure that is what he was trying. And <laughs> got bamboozled himself the way I just did. Oh! Chunter should, Chunter should hit him with an emote back now, shouldn't he? <laughs> This is which way do you want to go? The problem is though, the witch elf can't hit without frenzy trap here. Okay, so do you, yeah, just wrestles. So do you push down that side? I mean, that is the the kind of stronger side, isn't it? I kind of wanted to go through here, right? That's kind of what I wanted to do was to kind of go through here. So these two, but then you've done these two, do you? It's tough. You've got more men over there if you own players. I guess. And you can also just like send off. I don't know, it's tough, isn't it? It's not that easy actually, still for sea brawls. Going through the peasant way. Yeah. So he's double screened from the ogre. And you can try the uh, assassin up up here, and this guy up here. Like, so they're two big two pluses, aren't they? Well, one's a three two, but he's got dodge. So. Also, he could just punch this guy. It's not terrible just to punch him. Is it? He could have gone down to punch, but I would rather get him. On. I guess that's okay. These are trading, trading out, aren't they? It's okay, the stuns. I mean, that was a hell of a turn for Seagulls, wasn't it? Two stuns. These guys bracketed. This guy out. Very few players for Chunts to be reactive with. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good turn from Seabrows. Chunter can just 4 plus for a 1D though. Which I wouldn't hate at this point. <laughs> That's how bad I think it's got. It's bad. It's bad, Jim. <laughs> Gotta be honest, I'm wanting I'm wanting Chunter to win here, right? Because Seabro has already beaten me, so. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want Chunter to throw a spanner in the works here. You shouldn't have let him play knobs if you want him to win, Jim. <laughs> I know. I didn't think he won. I thought it. Oh, this will be cool, won't it? Chunter with rats. You know, K folk with woodies. These are going to be some competitive coaches. Oh, no. Uh, uh, uh. They took knobs. <laughs> I mean, the last time I played in BBSL, I took halflings. So <laughs> I can't mm. really say anything. <laughs> Yeah, it's. Thingy, uh, Inarian took halflings one time as well. And I want the best of the best with their best teams, yeah. you know? Yeah, honestly, just, just ban them. You know? just, yeah. Just, just force them. people to take wood elves and undead and dark elves and stuff. Yeah, it's not a bad idea, actually, is it? These fucking fun havers. No knobs yeah. for you! <laughs> I'm gonna ban your yeah, knobs like... from the tournament! I feel like if Super League is meant to be this like, whole big competitive thing, then you, know, you should probably should. Yeah, maybe. I I mean, I just thought, you know, if people think they can get something out of them, then maybe they can, right? Like, yeah, Cruz... but they know they can't, as much as the good teams. Yeah, Cru Cruz got the semis with humans, didn't he, last season? Yeah, humans aren't mobs, though. Oh, true, but I would have also banned yeah. humans. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. <laughs> I don't know, humans would be borderline for me. Yeah, they are a little bit, yeah. yeah Having get the knobs. All the chaos teams. Yeah. Yeah, true. I knew the elves can do something, so yeah, get you all the elves. In. Yeah. All world alliance ban them unless they have yeah, sneaky get dirty right. player. <laughs> it's the only time they're allowed. <laughs> yeah, instead of banning sneaky get dirty player, you enforce sneaky get dirty player. <laughs> <laughs> 
You must take the best skulls in the game. Not you know, don't don't avoid them. <laughs> should ban should ban it any skull other than like block guard, might blow vessel, <laughs> tackle. <laughs> There's a funny, there's a funny thing, you know. Uh, San has made like a thing about Euroball and like you know listing all the skills. And to be fair, the vast majority are like block guard, wrestle, mighty blow, tackle. Like, you know, but there are like some things like one person to cannoneer and stuff. Mm. Um, they're funny enough. What's interesting about Euroball is one of the packets. Like I let people take the one cost packages. So the way Euroball works, you've got eight teams, uh, eight players to a team, or four players to a team, and then they've got eight points or four points to modify their teams. And so you either just take vanilla, which is no points, or for one point you can trade a skill for 30k, or for one point you can then s trade skills to pay skills to stack. So Chunter with these two stacks, he's he's like taken the one one of the one point options. So I only let people take a one point option. But I wonder if I should have allowed the two point options. Because but then of course I thought people aren't gonna be too mad if they're playing with a zero point team versus a one point team, whereas they might be upset playing a zero point team versus a two point team. But on the other hand, the two point team lets uh, people take a s extra skill as long as they don't have f a third skill um, compared to what they started with. So, if Dark Elves took the extra skill, they could only have one dodge blitzer, so that would really suck, wouldn't it? And they couldn't have block witch elves and things like this. So it's it's really quite limiting oh. for some teams, but like great for Skaven and Undead. So it would kind of make Undead Tier 2, and no one's taken Undead in two seasons of this. But if they could get an extra skill on their Undead, maybe they would have done, right? So, with like, you know, slight, um, slight things. That was a Kaz there. Yeah, I yeah. Yeah. yeah, extra skill scale. Like, so that really helps Skaven and, uh, Skaven and Undead, I feel the extra skill but the question is is then like is that just unfair that some people can have two two point packages two GFIs and removal and a blood yep yeah, pretty good look at dog sea brows yeah it wasn't the best time for me to be droning on about euro rules was it I mean, the drive was over, to be honest, which is why my mind was wandering. But it's a bit sad to have to use your apple in a drive that was already over, isn't it, <laughs> for Chunter? Maybe should have done some professional Elliot lying down strats. Elliot is, of course, the best at lying down. Oh, I fucking love lying down, Jimmy. I cannot begin <laughs> to explain how much I love to lie down on the floor with all my players while the enemy goes and scores a touchdown. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so I just started paying attention at exactly the right time there, apparently. <laughs> He runs all the way around Ooh. and then Ooh. fails his two plus. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> yeah, Elliot, the biggest fan of lying down in Blood Bowl. Do you open with a stab here? Uh, yeah, I might hope, probably that as well. Might. Yeah, because you've got this. You've got this guy to to move down and like yeah. make the formation. Stab him. I guess it, the only thing is it leaves the assassin hanging out. Yeah. But. That is the problem, but I figured that the fact you've got this guy saves it a bit. Yeah. I'll move this guy to here and then dodge a bit to this one. Wait, has Seabor's put in a counter scoring threat? Wrong way, Seabor's, wrong way! Apparently, yes! 
<laughs> and he's got a handoff uh, guy in the, in the on the LS as well. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why this guy's here. <laughs> Look, a lot of a lot of players end up confused against Shunto, and it looks like we might be seeing that here with Seaboss. <laughs> Maybe there's just four D chess, right? Maybe if he if he moves this guy, then Chunt will think like he's got a scoring threat. He's only got one scoring threat. <laughs> Commit to blitzing him down, and then whoops, he hasn't he hasn't gone for the one D on the ball. <laughs> Three D. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. If you're not sure where Cyanide will sign the score, just cover every end zone. Flip me. Oh, it's incredible. Flip me. Oh, it was Home Nations Euro Bowl rules. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, extra the extra skill for Undead is really good. Because, yeah, they're not really hurt by it, right? They can still get three guard, a tackle, a block, and two wrestle or wrestle sure hands. So, so they're, just, they're just getting, like, a free extra skill, basically. The, the only problem is, of course, you're using two skill points for your team. And they might want to use the skill points, too. Except Dark Elves don't want to, and Orcs don't want to. And you should definitely have Dark Elves and Orcs on your team. <laughs> so, yep. Seabros has not made any jumps yet. Hello, Keith. But uh, he has uh, he has made lots of emote usage. <laughs> he is known as an enforcer in the world of robotics. <laughs> is he? Um, not that I knew of. Could put on my job applications, I guess. <laughs> you should, yeah. Could put it on your Tinder as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See, if Seabros wasn't married and stuff, he could have that great at using emotes in Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> you, could, you, know, you, you don't have not to be married, right? <laughs> true, true, but I'm sure Seabros... All C. kinds of options available for uh, people these days. I'm sure Seabros is, is a good boy. But yeah, he could have a polycule no, or something, you, you, couldn't he? He could right, still be a good boy. Right, yeah. right. He could yeah, still be yeah, a good boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> a blutz. Oh, just, just what Seabros needed. Oh look! What a what a dirt bag! Look at this. Oh no, around. man, man! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This has gone too far. I mean, that that one emote after the fucking effective quad skulls. And now this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seabors getting seventy percent seabors getting way too big for his boots. Jesus <laughs> Christ! The some some BM. Yeah. Well, the issue is, you see, humor's funny, isn't it? As long as you're not punching down. And the thing is, mm. poor old Chunter here has got knobs, mm. and it's just, yeah. it just, it just comes <laughs> over as like mean spirited. Now this is like, this is not on. <laughs> it's like literally impossible to punch up a knob. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He's thinking about Apple on this, but that's crazy because he's got a 50 50 of it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Like, one, an like elf is going to be killed next half, right? And then you can 100% get it back. Yeah. Uh, with the Apple. Yeah. Unless you're a gnome, yeah, that's true. Yeah, gnomes. Oh my god, I think mean, that's crazy. Well, it depends who's knob. True, true, true. Other gnomes, you're not punching up at their knobs. <laughs> no, I mean, look, no knob. I mean, no gnome would coach a knob, you know, knowingly. <laughs> <laughs> I'd imagine, but no, me. <laughs> this guy's gonna get fouled in Kaz now. Be so funny. I like that he's Kaz. I like that he's fouling the same player. Good, good. I'm glad yeah. that he fouled the same yeah. player. Teach, teach, yeah. teach Seabros a good lesson. Come on, give us an emote. Come on, Seabros. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, it. let's see it. <laughs> Head in hands emote, please. Let's go. <laughs> Despair, despair. Despair, despair, despair. <laughs> he 
want to see the hard man of robotics when he gets pissed Okay, off. yeah, this is a strange meme. I don't know where <laughs> it's come from. I'm, I'm confused, I should be honest. I don't, I don't know either, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember well, you, and you're, you're, you're younger than me, aren't you? So you might not have even. I am. Oh, yeah, fucking hell, yeah. Just, yeah, but yeah, yeah. just a bit. Yeah, wow, you don't need yeah, to be so, you don't need to be so <laughs> horrible, Elliot. Um, have you ever seen the TV show Spaced? Oh no no! Is that Simon Pegg? Oh. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've not. Nick no. Frost. Well, there was. You remember Robot Wars, don't you? Oh yes. Oh, oh yes. yes. <laughs> well, there was an episode where they had like a, a, a like a a parody of it with Fight Club, right? Oh. And they, and they, really? had, and they had Robot Club. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. <laughs> and it was incredible. And you could definitely be the Robot Club guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I loved space. Oh, it's it's actually amazing. Honestly, it's it. Yeah, I should watch it. Should particularly watch it. the first series was like so good, so good. War Bastard was their opponent, <laughs> which I enjoyed. I've heard of War Bastard. I don't know if that's leaked out from there. Or... <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah, honestly, space was incredible. It was actually it was actually incredible, and so many good things, especially for the time as well. So, um. Yeah, it was Rich Shearsmith. Yeah, Rich Shearsmith was the uh, was indeed the uh, the roboteer behind War Bastard. <laughs> oh god, it was incredible. It was, I, honestly, spaced. I would recommend watching Spaced to anybody who's you know who's never seen it, or even if you've seen it, watch it again. Incredible, incredible scenes. So many great moments. Um, but yeah, that was one when they had they had Robot Club and it was great. <laughs> I imagine on the mean streets of Sheffield that there's a Robot Club somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get the ref! That could help the knobs because the uh, Dells are down to ten, right? Get some cheeky fouls in. You know, okay, it was it was sucks. Like, see, honestly, Chunt is out of contention now anyway, right? Like, he's just playing for pride at this point with three losses. Yeah. So a draw is fine, uh, you know, so you can, you can make a bunch of fouls, get a draw out of this game, and then, um, you know, it's not terrible. Like, I don't think he has to go crazy trying to get a win, you know, because I don't think he's going to qualify from two wins and three losses. So he might as well mm. just... Just yeah, but on the, the flip side, he, he he might as well try and go for a win, though, right? True, true. But then maybe and, and it's Chunter. Yes. So I don't know what the morally correct option is, you know, because if oh, you go I for see. a win, uh, you're more likely uh, to lose, aren't you? Whereas uh, if this was a competitive game, you'd probably take the draw, right? So it's interesting. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's just, but it could be a game where you had to win, right? As could, well, so I, I think you just want to, you know, as long as you go all in, you know, make sure you, you, you're trying to do one of the two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pride is playing knobs. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Savage. The problem with the fouling here is it's leaving him a bit exposed, isn't it? Yeah, unless he moves the ball right up. I think he could have gone another one up, honestly. But I guess another one up, then it's just a... Then, yeah, no, this is probably correct. Correct. Oh, badly hurt! Now C Rose only has nine players. Yeah, maybe Chunta will go for the win. Yeah, plus it's Chunta, yeah. So. <laughs> yes, that's the one, Steve. <laughs> oh man, it was great. Really nice. Yeah, this I mean this this I wouldn't be super confident going for the win, but yeah, like, you might as well now. Like, if this was the first week, you'd take the draw, wouldn't you? If this was week one, you'd take the draw, I think. But as time goes by, why not go for the win? I, mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't hold it against anybody. Do you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't... <laughs> I'm not... 
what, when I was saying like I don't know what's morally correct, like that's the thing, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like it's like some people get pissed off by people like turn sixteen fouling in the chalice and that, isn't it? And it's like, but at the end of the day, if you don't do that, then the other people who are left in are losing a slight bit of equity as well, aren't they? So it's like I, do, I think it's six and two threes. As long as yeah, as long as they're trying to either win or get a draw, then it's okay, isn't it? And I don't think there's a particularly correct manner to play the game now. Whereas I think if it was week one, it would be more correct to go for the draw. Um, but it is what it is. Yeah. I mean, space. It was already like the second series was always a bit was already a bit worse. I thought, but the first one was was incredible. Like the second series was still good, but I thought the first series was the best. And it's like also like you don't want to keep like you know the best series were the ones that had less fucking series anyway right like like uh what's it called faulty towers wasn't it you know just just two seasons and uh, and that's it whereas friends are actually friends didn't fall off that much i i always felt like friends had fallen off a lot but um Wait a minute, have I lost have I lost connection here? No, I can't be because I'm I'm still watching the game being played. <laughs> or are you? Okay, Elliot's here. I it's just that my uh, my Twitch I hadn't heard you for a while and my Twitch is was oh. connecting and I was like, What's going on here? I was just not paying attention to this game. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> very very, very relevant and important game. <laughs> Fair but, enough. Uh, I, w I was going to do a joke though, but I forgot what it was now. Oh. Sorry. Oh no! Oh no! I was—it wasn't a joke. It was just—I was just—I was just saying I've never seen Friends. That's, I don't know why I thought that was a joke. Wow! <laughs> I've never seen Friends. No, I've never, never seen any Friends. I—I've—I've seen. Oh, I, my, mine was Scrubs. Oh my god, I love Scrubs. Scrubs are so good. Yeah, I thought I, th I thought Scrubs was okay. Um... Oh no, I, I thought it was amazing. <laughs> That's coming back, isn't it, with the original cast? Is it? Is it? Yeah, I, that... so I heard rumours. I don't know if it was like confirmed or not. But not the original cast because uh, Ted died. Uh, well, some of the original cast. All the same. Mm. Friends, no. It, 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 it fell off a bit, but not like, not tons. And it was mostly like one season was worse. It was like weirdly like I rewatched them all. I rewatched them all recently. I rewatched everything, and it was like something like you know series seven, eight, or nine or ten. Like one season series was worse. Then it was like fine again. It was really weird. <laughs> the days of people being surprised at how little Elliot has seen are coming to a middle. Very good. <laughs> Very good. <Kim. laughs> what, a, what a fucking <laughs> chat wanker. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how like people don't like friends like it seems crazy I, you know like lots of like young people are like friends isn't good and stuff and i'm like the yeah. fuck's wrong with you it was quite like it was so funny they just seem very like i know american to be like they seem like the most stereotypically american thing ever i guess but i never ever saw any so i don't know hmm I guess I, I, I don't think it is a bit dated. Like as I said, we watched we watched all ten series, and uh, it wasn't homophobic or anything. It wasn't any anything at all. It was fine. It was absolutely fine. There was like about two or three things, and they weren't even that bad. And even then, Ooh. like oh oh, that was the other that way. Was a knob. I thought I thought that was an alpha. I was Shit, like oh, it was a knob. It was a fucking block bodyguard as well. Oh. But yeah, well, there's, maybe, a, lot maybe of, there's means... a lot of people. Sorry. I was just saying maybe that means friends is good then, Keith. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't Elliot just Harry Potter living with the stairs with no connection to that world? Wow, caution, that's a bit extreme. Um... I wish. <laughs> 
<laughs> you wish. I mean, it would be pretty good to be Harry Potter because you'd have magic. Spells, right, you'd do you? magic and shit, right? That'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Uh, yeah, like, obviously, I'm not about to argue with anybody and say, like, well, you should like friends or anything. Like, that's weird. But it's also weird. Like, to me, it's just weird how many people don't like it because I think it's still really fucking funny. Like, it's, I watched it all recently and, like, it all held up. Very, very funny show. For me. But I think, you know, maybe, maybe you had to be there. Maybe there is an element of you had to be there as well. Like, maybe it was of its time a bit. So because, like, I was there then, <laughs> I'm still there now, if you see what I mean. So maybe young people are a bit like, the fuck is this shit? Do you know what I mean? Like, just if it's, like, very 90s. Like, you were saying it's very American. Maybe it's, like, very 90s, right? Mm. Well, there you go. All you read is that. It's a very 90s show. Maybe that's it. Maybe it was exceedingly 90s. So young people are like... Bleh. It's not on TikTok, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't need... Uh, it, it, the, the fucking laugh track would have to be fucking laughing gas for me to enjoy the Big Bang fucking theory. Absolute fucking garbage. In my opinion. I hate the Big Bang Theory. I hate it so much. Oh, oh yeah. I, I saw like, I know, half an episode of that or something, and yeah, I did not like that at all. <laughs> yeah, hate's a strong word, but I did not enjoy it at all. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Steve. It was like, it was like a, a studio execs idea of <laughs> nerds. <laughs> As opposed to Spaced, which actually was <laughs> a geek show that was fucking amazing. It's the best. Honestly, I can't recommend Spaced enough. It is an incredible show. Or was. It's the POW. She does let him get his wood shelf out. So Chunter does have the handoff to this guy and then score, right? Oh, he's just got double GFI. He's already... It's, never mind. He's in double GFI range. So he could just score. I mean, he could hand off and then pass it back to him <laughs> and then double GFI and score. <laughs> Fuck off, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> look, I thought he wasn't in range, okay? <laughs> and, like, plus they've got catch, haven't they? Yeah, so they did that. The pass handoff works. <laughs> handoff in the pass. Let's <laughs> go. Cool, yeah, good idea. So is he going to guard the sideline? Yeah, but I mean, still just guard in and tackle him, right? So like, this is a very easy score if he wants to go for it. Yeah, yeah. I think he might. You know, I think he might. The only problem is if he's blitzing with a tackler. One in nine. No, he can't do the pass handoff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's also <laughs> blitzing from there. He could have just blitzed directly in front, couldn't he? There was no reason yeah. to blitz from there. He could have just blitzed from in front. Because now if this was a one in nine, he's more yeah. than going to serve. Yeah, oh, unless yeah, he's going to yeah. stall. No, no oh. he's surely he's going to start stall. Yeah, I mean, he can't, he can't stall, really. He's, no. he's not getting somebody else around there to screen. No. He's going to foul first. Oh, my God. He's got a bribe. Let's go. I like oh, that. Oh, he's got a bribe. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, honestly, even without the bribe, I was thinking, yeah, you know what, fair play. <laughs> <laughs> yep, fuck it. No, I hate blocking you know, first. Such a high roll. Yeah, they do. Hate bugging first? I don't hate yeah. bugging first. Because he's only got two rerolls, oh. right? So one in nine. And he's got two one and sixes to roll, so no, I like that. Keep a reroll for defense. So yeah. Chunter going for the win. Still has 11 players versus nine. 
One reroll for chunts and a bribe versus two rerolls for sea brawls. Nobs or P. Nobs. Nobs, nobs, nobs. Do you like knobs, Eliad? Uh, <laughs> I mean, look, it, de it, it, it depends on the circumstance, but in this one, no. Wait, what? What, 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 was the, what did you say? <laughs> Nothing, I just said, do you think knobs? And then I couldn't keep my face straight. Oh, right. yeah, no, I heard that, did you like knobs? But then, uh, did, I thought you said something else. But like, <laughs> no, I'm just uh, juggling the most. <laughs> We've kind of spoiled the whole question. <laughs> Oh. I know you like nuts. Oh. Go back, go back. I know you I know you're a big fan of nuts. Um yeah. Yeah, but Pistachios. S tier. Pistachios number one though, caution, right? They were S tier. There was no A tier, strangely. There was a couple of B tiers. I remember. Which is your favourite? No. Oh, I don't know what went on with it. Oh, intensive training! Chunter gets a skill for the drive on this bodyguard. Does he give him block or does he give him mighty blow or tackle? He gives him tackle. I did see his pipes. <laughs> I volunteered Billy Piper for his pipes tier list, but he didn't put her on. The emotes have dried up, yeah. We went from very confident to, oh shit, my ass has fallen out, and the, the emotes stopped. <laughs> Live by the emotes, die by the emotes. Oh, that, that's a good removal, though. You gonna stab the ogre? You might just dodge away with both of these, right? Like a half dacker here, isn't it? Oh, and he skulls out. Big foul, potentially. Also, chain the blitzer into a ogre hit. Or, or like this blitzer, but blitz somebody into an ogre hit. I mean, chain somebody in. Oh, I don't know why he's done that. Wouldn't have done that. Surely, surely you put him there and, and get an extra hit in. With that auger. I mean, I'd have done it on the blitzer just for like, you know, 3D. But. Billy Piper S tier. <laughs> oh, he's moving the Olga forward. Uh, I, I prefer extra blocks, but it's understandable. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Jimma. Jay Barza, thank you very much. Thank you for staying fantastic for 29 glorious months. Seven Hool Beaver pregnancies. Absolutely glorious, thank you very much. I'm gonna foul no blitz, no blitz from chunts. <laughs> dead, dead, dead! Huge cars. Bribe gone. All Saints. S tier. <laughs> no, they're not. They're all Saints are like. A. A slash B. Girls allowed or S tier. I 
I mean, it's unfair to compare All Saints to... Uh, wait, did the bribe fail and then argue the call worked? Oh, no, he argued first and didn't need the bribe. Oh, my God. What a look of dog, so he still got his bribe. Outrageous. Outrageous stuff from Chunter. Obviously, by arguing the call first, you're more likely to get sent off than if you just use a if you just use your uh, bribe. So, uh, high risk, high reward. You don't have to argue first. No, Spaggy. If 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 you use the bribe, you're less likely to get sent off. Also, um, you're less likely to suffer turnover, and obviously, the turnover didn't matter on this occasion. But. Um, he was more likely to be sent off by arguing the call first. You don't have to argue the call. You can choose to argue the call, Spluggy. Oh my god, he fails. You can simply choose not to argue the call. And then, uh... What I'm saying is you don't have to argue first, right? You can just not argue the call. If you don't argue the call, then you're more likely to not... You're, you're less likely... You're, if, <laughs> you're more likely to get sent off if you argue, if you argue the call. Yes. No, yeah, no, I get, get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, yeah. Olga did a good job of taking the hit there. I was just explaining to the people at home that you're actually more likely to get sent off if you argue and use the bribe. But it did pay off the chunter there. This Rackler is pretty nice, isn't it? To blitz the air uh, witch. <sighs> Do you even want to wrestle? It's funny, isn't it? It's funny how shit knobs are. Sorry, Dimmy. <laughs> oh. I'll block with my guy for blocking. And I can't even take the both down. <laughs> Absolute tanker. This is a bit tricky for uh, Sea Brawls, isn't it? Three turns left. This is a, he's very much running out of players. This didn't happen versus me. This was my uh, this was my Necromantic versus him. But I mean, everything looks like three twos and somewhat tricky Man room for manoeuvrements. He's going for a one into one. Let's go. It was a two plus. So fair enough. Is he gonna? Is he gonna uh, sideline cage? Is he, uh, the, if he, he could try and screen and then try and get this guy way out of three two, right? So he could just go there, have two players here, and then this guy dodges away to here, and then he's got a full, full screen. Up, Timmy. <laughs> I couldn't do that because he just batted me. Was my point? <laughs> no, Dark Owls absolutely shot on me. That GFI is interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I think that was what he had to do. Oh, wouldn't have done that. Oh yeah, he's got the Witch Elf here. Oh yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that's, he didn't need to do that. He could have just stood here. Could have just stood here, couldn't he? I mean, this is stronger, but it's whether you want to use the reroll or not. Obviously, he thought about it. This is a real nice move out here. Oh, he double one bit. 
double wand it. And uh hey. this guy blocks him to there. He blocks him to there. <laughs> Wait, he blocks him to there. Two players in here blocks him forward to there. Then he blocks him to here. I don't know. Like, if you could block this guy in, then you could hit him, right? And then you could hit the ball, something like that. I don't know. Five you for a 1D. It's not terrible, is it? And he's got dodge. Yeah, you're not going to get better than that. It's turn 15 as well. <laughs> so it's literally your last turn, so yeah, fuck it. Just do it first, actually. First action. I mean, this, this is okay to stop the scatters. Like, to st stop them sc catching the bounce. But uh, this guy didn't need to move. I guess, yeah, get him in scoring range first, so you've at least got somebody in scoring range. Whatever happens, that's okay. Have him, like, properly in scoring range. Like, one more square, so he's properly in scoring range. Oh, no. No. Do not like. Do not like that. I do think the 5 plus 1D was correct. I don't feel like this is going to be enough to stop the elves. It could be, of course. And I could be wrong, but this just doesn't seem strong enough at all. Is he going to, like, dodge this guy in? No. This guy has to go over there. Like maybe here. Here or here. Maybe here. But he has to be on the sideline at least. I don't know which is better. It's funny, isn't it? I really don't know which bet, which square is better out of these two. Or even here. One of these three could be in. Or there. Or there. He could have been in, like, one of five squares. And I have really no idea which is the best. But he had to be one in, the, in one of those five squares. Brilliant machine. Hey, this is tricky, actually. A good, good turn from Chunts. I do feel this guy should have been one extra square. There was no reason for him not to be one extra square. Same thing. Go for the two plus two plus. So you can go for a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you could go for three 2 pluses to score. Or you can just go for the 1D, which is obviously better. But like this was if you, if you rolled a 2, I was thinking. So it obviously just scores. Does the dance. Gets the score. C bros wins. No, no, no. It was, it was if you. I mean, it's obviously better to do the one D block, right? It was, it was if you were in nine. I was thinking, well, not one in nine. But I just both down. It's not, it's not a one in nine. No, I said one in nine. Both down. How old low bell. So, yep, that is it. Well done. Sea Bros gets the win. Again, another game that maybe would have been a draw if Chunt was playing for the draw.
but um, don't need oh too many. No chance of a one turn here, basically. It's so it's so ludicrous, right? He needs four. Four pushes doesn't have frenzy, so he's got to like push his own player forward to uh to get the the last hit. It's basically impossible. Basically impossible. It's not super easy. <laughs> Do you know what? I dug a grave the other day. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> a lot harder than it looks like on the movies. Actually really hard to uh, dig a hole. Maybe it was just, you know, maybe the ground was shit. I mean, I, d I don't feel the need to go into the... the st I mean, it was a fish that I buried, but it was it was, re it was just really hard to, to fucking dig a hole. <laughs> like... Really hard. He just passed it to him. <laughs> he just... <laughs> he just passed it straight to see, bros. You can't flush it down the toilet, Dimmy. It's like fucking a foot long. <laughs> Flushed words. <laughs> yeah, that's Dimmy. Kai calm down the loo. Flip me. <laughs> Man. Good guy Chunter passes it to Seabros, and Seabros is like, no, I'm going to waste everybody's time and foul for no reason. I miss Seabros' player names, honestly. Knobs are terrible. <laughs> Oh, I would have been even more on his side if I'd if I'd seen this. Knobs are terrible. <laughs> Dimmy and Tatters. Oh, I wish I'd seen the player names earlier. Yeah, Chunter's chair falls, and yeah, <laughs> <Don't see bro. laughs> yeah, Chunter's Chunter's players are all uh, all are all appropriately named as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there you go. That is a uh, a win, another win for Seabros. That puts Seabros up to five points, which is uh, you know behind Andy Davo, above me. Um, Oh my god, why can't I just click the right things? So, not a great result for me, to be honest. I am the next big thing. Knobs are terrible. Congratulations, Seabros. <laughs> Commiserations, Crystal Hunter. So now Chunter has lost four games out of four, but he is guaranteed, he is guaranteed to beat me in the final game, basically, right? Because I can't insult Knobs this much and then not lose to them. So uh, this this has pretty much sealed my fate, actually. I think Seabro's winning this one because I'm sure I'm I'm certain I'm going to lose to Chunter. But if I beat Devo, then Devo and I are both on six points. Seabro's on five. Sol could be on five. Anything can happen in this game versus Hiru. So it's going to be super interesting. But yeah, obviously I haven't updated that yet because I've got to manually update it. But that will be Seabro's on five points and uh, looking a very strong contender. To qualify. So there you go. Um, thank you, Elliot, who's disappeared, probably to munch some nuts. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.